Echo, donc il y a un peu de tout ça. Ouais, le seul problème c'est que ça coûte cher. Ouais bien sûr, et là ça essaye... Oh euh... la brochette de Kanyes Et le triple kill Extrêmement souverain sur son TI à la bon, il prend le quadruple kill Il est extrêmement agressif Kanyes Et il fait forte impression à lui tout seul Il vient plier le round Il ne reste plus que Kiyoshima Et l'Ace Ace de Kanyes Monstrueux Sur ce dixième round Wall of Smokes Will the CTs go beyond it and fight or will they play for the retake? Charging in is Dewey, trying to look everywhere. That was a very desperate play and Kenny S takes him out, puts him out of his misery. NBK will fall to the C7, which way will they go? Kenny S is everywhere, re-peaking, automatic taken down, players getting punctured. But it's only a one-man advantage for G2. And that's enough to walk off the connector. Nobody! I thought for a second, but the timing is off. Kenny reigns supreme in connector and picks up the four frags. No, the ace in the end for Kenny. So, two Famuses, two M4s, no kits. A very, very weak buy for G2, Still yeah? Still going for it. Wait for the flash. We're coming in. There it is, and nails the shot. That's quite good. That's quite clever, isn't it? Like, just knowing that every team pretty much flashed at the start to deny that pick coming in. Wait for it, comes out. Well, that's why I looked shot. at the spawn, too, because if you have the Apex spawn, you, you can still go for it pre-flash and then get flashed off and get back, because you can beat the angle. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's good from Kenny to read the fact that He knows they're gonna flash it. Now he's got position. He's very good on Inferno, I have to say. He's gotta be very happy this map's back. Showing it now. Three, make it four. Ooh. Is he gonna go through the smoke to find the ace? Not quite. Miss two's there and will deny. Someone had to do so. The fact that they've decided to force by that one round. And Kenny finally managed to get that first kill around again. It seems like Captain Mo and the boys are going towards B, but Kenny is gonna hit those shots. Yeah, Kenny doing exactly what was needed of him. Obviously, they only need to pick up two rounds, so a round like this coming out from Mr. S will be exactly what the doctor ordered. Make it that third kill. One more left, completely blind, but it doesn't matter. 15th round, Kenny, oh, he finally goes B and he completely shuts them down. Yeah. NBK, same position he was in last time. This time he gets taken down by Blade Buddy on top of Mustang, Kenny S in heaven. Kenny S with the double kill and the triple for the round and the quad. What in the next round? And again, we all, we saw a period of time where Kenny would always often be uh, AWP no armor in the first buy rounds, and that uh, might be the case again if G2 wants to lose this. So we'll see how it works out. There's a flash from his teammate, the first one. That's using a lot of bullets though. Only 11 left. There's a nice headshot onto Lecro. Oh, he's got another one as well. Is it Shocks or is it Kenny? What's going on? Oh my god, this is okay, just sitting in pit, but it should be more than enough to deal with this. And you can see all the time in the world against the UMP there for Kenny S with... It will get Kenny the ace, because there's no way Pronax is going to be looking at this angle. So he should have to jump, and there it is, 5k for Kenny. That is a monstrous start from... G it's like that's such a... that's the perfect scenario. If Navi can consistently do that, just don't let them have it. And... Flamey, he's been doing great work. Doesn't care if people are playing pistols, but looks like he should. Because Kenny S Ooh. picked himself up the AK, going for the triple right now. He's done immense damage, he's got no Kevlar. How has he done this? Putting effort into a comeback only to ultimately lose. But let's see if he can do some more damage. He's looking the wrong way. Kenny changing his position. That's a third kill for him. What a weird ace this would be. So he's on the balcony now. He may be the first to engage, going back in, and it's simple around the pit. The grenade will telegraph the position. Stereo frags for the CT side. Apex stealing the ace away from Kenny, but he got himself a 4K. Are on the A site. There's that very important smoke around a toilet area. Never know if a CT's behind it, and indeed one is. Kenny with a simply rude peek into C. He's walking with his scope. With these forward smokes and shocks, is going to join Apex as well now as the push comes into the site. They are going to rely on Kenny to deal with the players from long. Able to take down one. There's more where that came from though, but for Kenny, it is simply too easy. And that is a quick trio there for him. In fact, four in total in that round. And Particularly in overtimes. They still have a lot to work with, including Kenny S's op, which is right here in ramp room, waiting for all these peaks. He's thirsty for more. Is he going to get more chances? The answer is no, but he'll just force it anyway. Yeah. Just get inside the smoke. He's like, I will find a way hey, look, to peek you. This is an angle. <laughs> like, There's what? something here. I will find it. Uh, okay. Oh, someone who's passed him. But he knows it, and he hits such a ridiculous those of 4K to clean it up. Again, we talked about it earlier. If he physically can click his mouse, he can, in fact, potentially hit the shot. The D &D That's the only thing that can stop him is a finger cramp, it feels like. This sure. is just ludicrous. These kills, all right, yeah, you know, fair enough, but that is unreal. So good.
so damn good. It must hurt, like, if you were trying to be an aspiring pro, you'll just know you'll never be that good. A spectacle, but it's going to be Apex hot on their heels to find two. Finally dealt with by Flusher, back into a two on three. Another player in their back line here. They just can't quite get rid of them. And Kenny, there to trade things back. It is a one on two. The one that's been called into, a que into question a little bit on the side of G2. Going to find himself with the AWP in hand, locked in this 1v2. And going to be uh, baiting out the defuse. It does mean that Crimson and Dennis both going for the peak. Bomb's going to be planted in a bit of an obscure location, but they do know where it is. He's just going to stick it. Going to be tagged down fairly low, but waiting. Going to rush through the smoke. Crims goes down. Kenny 1v1. Not much time left. And he's sticking it. In oh comes Dennis. God. And he's going to fall as well. Trying to spread butter on him, apparently. Defuse going to come in with just enough time left. Kenny clutches it out. And that's a 3k for him. Yeah, now it gets awkward. No more flashbangs used. The screen could actually find more here considering how Kenny S, but tries to get the AK-47 taken down there by the P250. So, situation recovered with XMS coming in the back as well. He could actually cause more damage here. Bomb dropped as well. He's have the shock seat to try and recover, but Kenny S makes the first decision here. Taking down XMS, but time ticking away. 10 seconds, and the CTs do win the round. Kenny S couldn't do anything of it. Got the kill. A one-for-one, one, though, puts a lot of pressure on Kenny, and he is going to deliver. Bondic moves into position, taken out instantly, ahead of the rest of his team. They weren't pushing in a two-pronged attack. That was all a tunnel vision approach. The red mist descended, and it put him out of his own misery. Kenny has to extinguish the Molotov and come back to the site. And Hellraisers haven't quite pulled the trigger on this A hit just yet. There is so much time left. And Kenny S with a flick onto Dead Fox, dropping the bomb out and will be throwing his utility on top of it. Still, though, Sticko and Zero are in amongst the thick of it. Kenny S is already on for two. We'll get a third. What a shot onto Zero. Sticko now. Has to come round the back of Balcony. I hope he can pick off Kenny S, and it is not going to happen. The bomb site to prevent the envious players from rotating in from Z and immediately retaking it. And Apex is going to move forward, but he could get boxed out by the guy in Z. In fact, XMS was ready for that one. He was expecting it. So he takes him down, and now they've lost the man advantage. All of a sudden, it's Kenny and Shox versus the world here in Shox. Really detached from the action. Kenny, first step to bat. He finds a shot, but he's being pressured up close. He needs shocks to support him. He's watching for a flank, but what? Squad! Oh my god, Kenny gets an incredible kill against Sixer. I didn't even see the flick. He hits that shot somehow, and it's another round for G2. They're shooting ahead again. 14 to 7. What was that last shot? We see it so much. Yeah, it's just that now he's been punished by one frag. They still should be absolutely fine. They're sticking together and making sure they have trade potential here. Kiyoshima leading the way towards a side, but he's going to find the Deagle, and they're by themselves. Where's the refrag at this point? They're being clumsy, but Nico will find the next kill. But the AK picked up in pit as well. Nico gets the shot on Sharks. Oh. Thankfully, they got MBK, but Kenny's arrived. Two immediately on the P250 bomb down in the A site. Alu has to go. Op versus Op, but neither with it. It's going to be an AK-47 for Alu and the P-250 for Kenny, and Kenny's trying to flank him. He's trying to rotate around, just gets around the corner of Quad before he arrives. Oh, this is perfect from Kenny. Yep. He gets the timing right here. It's he going to be down to like a second before he gets it. Here it is, oh! and he gets the dink! Turns, but comes back again. The repeat, because Alu tried to spray in, and Kenny's timing is perfect. It's a return serve again, this time on the full save. And, and we see this going to a two on four. NBK. Spots the man at long, but is more worried about the ones in his front yard as opposed to the back. Finds the first, pivots round on the spot. Having to watch so many angles, gets caught off guard by Dupree. And now Kenny has to step up with the AWP, and he can't do it if he's landing shots like that. Finds the first through the smoke. Now we're into the 1v2. Defuse coming in, oh. but if you're Kenny, that's not a problem. He takes a second, trying to make it three, trying to get the hat trick, <laughs> but it's the bomb to finish him off. G2, they get themselves another round on the back of that. Fantastic AWP by Kenny S. They have. Navi over top of Phase Big are back down to the Mountain Dew League next year. So heartbreak for both Big and G2. Kenny S, however, does at least give a chance to plant the bomb inside of the site. He's done it himself by getting the kill and the plant unfortunate for Apex as he can't follow this it up. Could be it, Matt. I don't know how to feel. Lost. It's not over yet.
Round still possible. It's gonna be body pushing through to CD spawn. Gets one. Could find the double. Not meant to be, but Kenny S. He's, he's doing work chance. with the AK-47. One versus one, and he does it. Pulls it off. Three kills to keep the hopes alive of G2. Each side of drop zone. This shouldn't do a whole lot. Dalton's gonna put in the smoke as well. Try and make it uncomfortable with it. It's gonna go right on through. Apex leading the charge. And Kenny S is gonna get in on it as well. Henny now feels a little bit of pressure. Left, right, and well, now about center. But that USPS is digging him out of some severe trouble. But it's down to 2v2. We have an orphan Kenny S's hands. And we know what can happen when this begins. And now, does he expect it? Does he predict it? He doesn't need to. He spots it out. And now playing with time, toying with Lucas. But the bomb isn't even planted yet. Yeah, no, it's going to book it over towards the A bomb site. This is going to be such a difficult... Lucas is reading it. Yeah, I mean, he, he did get the read. He saw Kenny jump off. He knows this is the likeliest play. He's not going to get there in time to stop the plant, but Kenny with that op, he's going to have so many different opportunities to find this kill if they're aware that Lucas could have read this so early, and I don't think they are quite yet. And it depends on who spots out who here, but Lucas has made it pretty close. Yeah, now the spot comes in, so Kenny can start adjusting for it. But uncomfortable positioning, but he might have the angle here. But you can see the pre-aim from Lucas was right, but Kenny S just doesn't miss those, does he? No, he doesn't. Moving quickly into A, but a bomb's been dropped, which would suggest it's not so fast. Maybe waiting out the initial grenades. Undoubtedly, there will be Molotovs. Kenny not sure where to look. Device trying to get cheeky, but he will be denied. Okay, spotting a couple. Having to fall back. Shox is called for the rotation. Nice snap from Shox. Is traded though by the very close gla uh, Glaive. And yes, so he's been very strong so far. Hasn't really missed at all. Very nice stuff. Soldiers overall, fantastic hold. 10 out of 10. Great flash as well. They try to push up extremely aggressively. They're giving up the opportunity for a killer here. Unfortunately for Happy, he's unable to capitalize. Kenny S is in the clutch. Probably one of the best clutch players on this team uh, by far. We've seen a clip from him. There's the first. And another one isn't going to happen. The op duel is about to come up. And uh, Kenny S doesn't seem like he's going to go for a plant quite yet. He's going to look around, survey the field. Oh, manages to escape somewhat. And then come back into B. This is getting really weird, folks. A lot of shots have been missed. 15 HP and an off. <laughs> he was burning in the whatever the quick scope through the wall into the body of Desp. Man, uh, that got so of headshots. Kenny left alone in this one versus two. Oh, oh man, Kenny. Here he goes with the AWP rounding the corners. And you got to make good guesses here. The flash comes out. It was an underhanded one. Kenny knows everything right now. Looking for the final frag. It's Shroud on the bomb site, waiting patiently for Kenny to reveal himself. And there's a peek. Oh, of course he does it. Kenny S with the save kit in hand. What a man. I like this from XMS. He's mixed up his angles. He's been playing rap, excuse me, ramp rather consistently. And now holding that close corner with his very trusty UMP. Bait coming in from Sixer is a little too costly. He actually loses his life for it. XMS, where are you? Did I did he go down as well? Excuse me. Yeah, did. both Get went caught down. out. That was a flurry of frags, and now suddenly G2 have a chance to close this out. 50 Happy. seconds. Keep your eyes on Happy. He's the one who can really annoy this. You can see a great read there. He knows that Apex wants to work around through secret. He's going to try and limit the avenues of approach. Now G2 are struggling for options here. They're down to 38 seconds. They have utility, but they don't have that entry to the site. They don't know what's safe and what's not, so it takes time. And if Happy gets this kill, it could be all over, and that might be it. Shox goes down. It's a 1v2. Nice Quick play from Apex, and it's Kenny to find the frag. 24 seconds oh now. God. Scream's not in position yet. Neither's RPK. Bomb's going to be down, and the Molly's are cost, you know, buying them time here. Let's see the after plant positions. All of this hard work from Envy to claw their way back in could be squandered in a two versus two. Next two frags determine it all, ladies and gentlemen. The perfect angle. Scream's going to have his head taken off. The headshot machine falls to his specialty. And now RPK, can you really save the day? This would be four. He knows this is a very likely corner to pre-aim. However, the so process of elimination is so rife. He now knows where's one in the corner. What's that? Apex waving a flag, draws his aim, and it's going to be 16-14. Two, one versus three. It's envious. They've got four. Ah. Can he manages to get the first? A couple of low players on the other side. He does have a kit as well. There's a rifle on the floor that he could look to pick up, but at the moment, he's going to be trying to bait it out. Throws the nade. 
onto Happy. It doesn't quite reach, meaning Happy will just about survive. Still on 6 HP. Going to go for the push. Gets the no-scope onto Scream. That's ridiculous. Leaving Happy. He's just going to go straight for the defuse. Kenny getting the timing, and he will even get the kill in the end. Wonderful stuff from Kenny. Should just about have enough time to defuse the bomb as well. 1v3 clutch. And this is why this man has such a name. That is just a Not very terrible. When Molotov's coming in, try and get that first pick. That's going to be very likely. That's the first smoke. AZ strikes. He commits to the A-side. Finds. Oh, I'll actually do it. Kenny has takes him down. It's going to be down to MPK here. And the refrag comes in. Four and four. Apex is wrapped back around to go highway to try and get closer. Good shot. Kenny on the response. Takes down Cajun. MSL just immediately, though, beforehand, had taken down Apex. And they couldn't find him. An immediate response. Oh. Overstep. From a disc, and the bomb goes for further forward, so he actually got it, recovered it, and then put it in a worse position because now Kenny can watch it and a crossfire set double up to watch the bomb. And that's going to be way too overwhelming for North Config. Walks directly into it. Kenny finds.